In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in CuOH2. This is copper 2 hydroxide. So let's write the element symbols first for copper, Cu, then we have an oxygen and a hydrogen. For copper, there's nothing written after it. There's no subscript. We assume that to be one. So we have one copper atom. Same for oxygen. We have one of those, except we have these parentheses around our OH, our hydroxide group. So the two outside this subscript applies to everything. So we have two times one, two oxygen atoms. The hydrogen, again, we're going to assume there's a one there, two times one, two hydrogen atoms. So if you wanted to find the total number of atoms in CuOH2, that'd be two plus two plus one or five atoms. Sometimes you're asked to find the number of, for example, oxygen atoms in one mole of copper two hydroxide. To find that, you just take the number of atoms and you multiply that by Avogadro's number. So we take two times Avogadro's number right here, and that will give us the number of oxygen atoms in copper two hydroxide. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in CuOH2, copper two hydroxide, and thanks for watching.